Hello, and welcome to my office at Iowa State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. I'm so excited that you are participating in Iowa State Fair's vet camp and that you've taken some time to learn a little bit more about some of the veterinary careers. My name is Deanna Gerber, and I work with students who are interested in going to vet school. I answer their questions, I help them meet current students, and I tell them more about veterinary school and what to expect, also how to prepare for that. So I'd like you to take a second and picture in your mind what a veterinarian looks like. So when you picture that veterinarian, are they in a white doctor coat in an exam room with a dog or a cat? Maybe they're out on a farm with horses or cows or pigs or sheep or goats. Have you ever thought about a veterinarian who's working with a rhinoceros? What about those veterinarians who are doing research? So they're in a laboratory with a lab coat, goggles, and they are working with animals, but on a much smaller scale, sometimes uh, tissue samples, or they're working with them on even a cellular level. So there's a lot that you can do with veterinary medicine. And no matter what kind of veterinary medicine that you're doing, veterinarians are ultimately puzzle solvers. So I want you to take about 10 seconds and think about one puzzle that a veterinarian might solve. I'll wait. Okay, what did you come up with? Maybe you thought about a veterinarian solving the puzzle of an itchy dog, right? If you have a lot of itching going on and stuff like that, if you go to your doctor, you can say, oh, you know, it happens, you know, mostly when I use, you know, this or when I eat this, right? Uh, but an itchy dog, a dog can't say that, right? The itchy dog can't say that. Um, or maybe the veterinarian has to solve a problem of a cow, that has twin calves and making sure that all three of those lives are safe and healthy. Do you think about veterinarians helping an injured lion? What about veterinarians working hard to find a cure for a disease that impacts both humans and animals? There are so many problems that a veterinarian helps to solve. So if you're excited to become a veterinarian, here's a few things that you can do starting right now to help you prepare for your career way down the road. One of those is to practice solving puzzles, right? So whether those are puzzles that you're doing with your family, uh, whether they're, you know, kind of brain puzzles, all of those sorts of things, sharpen those puzzle solving skills. The other thing you can do is you can try and learn as much about science as possible here where you are in school right now, but also in high school and in undergrad, uh, in college. Those are all great places to absorb as much science as possible. That will come in handy as in veterinary school, but also as a veterinarian. And then talk with a veterinarian. So maybe you have pets or farm animals, horses, uh, and you are already kind of connected with a veterinarian in your town. Go ahead and talk with them. Ask them what it's like to be a veterinarian. If you don't have pets or own animals, uh, maybe you can call up a veterinarian in your town. Let them know that you're going, you'd like to be a veterinarian. I bet they have some really good things for you to think about. Thank you for joining me for these few minutes. Uh, enjoy the rest of vet camp, and hopefully we'll see you soon.